pretty, ain't it? I think it is. I think it's really pretty. Here's the question. Does that look good? I was going to take it off. I took it off and it looked pretty bland. It looked nice. It's a beautiful paint job. <clears throat> if you can tell. And yes, this is a course because I don't like Gibson. And someone said, you do now Gibson owns Epiphone. Oh, you're an idiot. He was an idiot. But um, besides that stupid piece of information, yes, the whole point, and, and here it is, like with Fender, Fender owns Squire. Squires suck ass outright. Every Squire I've ever bought sucked. I've had to do either massive overhauls or just get rid of it. So, Squires suck. Epiphones are just as good, if not better, than Gibson's. With Gibson, all you're paying for is the name. That's why I was putting Gibson on all of my Epiphones. And it would freak people out and piss them off because they're like, That's not a good blah, 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 blah. I go, how do you know? And because they're super freaks about stuff, you know, bridges and everything. That's why. You know, I don't, and I don't care. Maybe a Jackson I'd know a little more. Even Jackson's. I don't catch everything. I was looking at this Jackson. I love the Jackson. Beautiful. <clears throat> but I missed the bridge. The bridge was everything to this guitar. And my friend, who's a bass player he caught the bridge which it's a really very rare hard to get bridge it's the one that randy had on his uh jackson but it had been uh redone to go with the uh, paint job which is a uh, b-17 bomber and i know the guy that's selling it and if you want it i can get in touch with the guy and get you guys but this guitar, I told him, do not let it go for under $6,000. No way. It's an 84 Jackson uh, Pro. And people like to call them student models, but they're set neck or neck through or whatever. Just because the damn things have dots on the neck doesn't mean this. And this thing is a beautiful paint job done by the guy that worked for uh, BC Rich. Can't remember his name. Tom Thomason, Thompson, something like that. And it's got a maple neck. Beautiful. Jackson. This guy's selling it. He's got one pickup and one knob. It's been totally modded out. But it's still an 84. Jackson, a San Dimas Jackson. Beautiful. He needs to sell it, and he was going to dump it for a low price. I'm like, dude, don't. Take it off eBay. Don't do it. And he did. So I'm glad for that. Anyway, so this I got because of the pirate guitar problem. I got my money back for the guitar, but they didn't want to give me my money back for the shipping because I had to ship it back. And the guy that told me to ship it back was not the boss. And the boss got pissed because he's like, why did you have him ship it back when we have an account with FedEx and it would cost us nothing to have it shipped? You know, and now he paid 116 da 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 So they sent me this. <laughs> to cover the shipping. I'm like, well, I don't really want another guitar, but thanks. I'll take it. So I just got it. It has not been set up. It's kind of been tuned let's see what we got right okay good ready ready <laughs>
This thing has got either eights or nines on them, man. It's like playing spider webs. Very, very difficult. That's my excuse <laughs> for not playing for a week either. a lot of noise it shouldn't I gotta figure out why it really shouldn't because it's got a damn gate on it let me turn the nope, still that's worse the boost I've watched so many videos about this overdrive and how people set it and how they get it to work and really, everyone that gets a good sound out of it, they have basically a great amp. They put everything at 12 o'clock, you know, straight up, and then use that. And they barely, you know, put, you know, make a little bass, a little more bass, a little less, a little more mid, a little more treble gain outputs usually straight up the gates on and the boost is on 
you don't need that and then it just sounds like a good amp but it doesn't sound like the 5150 one guy has it down but he's got you know all of that he's he's a fairly well-known guitar player you've probably seen him on youtube and he's just you know ripping he's just blah, 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 blah. probably since he's 12 years old he's you know been doing this which i don't and i never did because i could care less that is a van halen thing to me so why learn it why use it i use bars when i get them but i don't use it for i just use them to make weird noises so what do you think what do you think should i keep this on should i put a mirrored one on actually it looks pretty good just like this i think i'm just gonna leave it say made in anywhere in china or i think it's something well it, it says where it was made not the u.s not china china as uh, the president says it's made it's made in asia how's that like every gibson is they're all made gibsons epiphones are all made in the same place do you really think they pop out all of those gibsons at the uh, in tennessee i know they don't the only thing they make there is the uh artist guitars <laughs> and that's it really i know i've been there i had to smuggle that blue ace one out so there you go
thing is not staying in tune. So there you go. I mean, just got it out of the box. It's yesterday it was 75 here. Now it's uh, it was uh, the 60s. <coughs> now I'm getting better actually. So here you go. That was a long uh, blah, 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 about this new guitar. It looks cool, and it will eventually play really good once I get it set up. I promise it will. I know it will. I can tell. It's got a good uh, feeling neck. It just needs to be set up. Right strings. Ba -da 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 -da. You get it. This is right out of the box. Brand new. The box is sitting right over there. Uh, so there you go. Another guitar. I might sell it. I might not. I don't know. This is uh, the replacement for the Pirate. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean one that I didn't get. But I ended up getting another pirate guitar anyways. For under 100 or 200 bucks. And it's an SG. So that puts me 5 SGs now. Where I never played SGs. I hated SGs. I hated Les Pauls too. Actually, Les Paul preferred... A Epiphone SG, which he was called a Les Paul, he preferred this to a Gibson Les Paul. But he had to play the Gibson Les Paul when he did TV and stuff because that's what the company wanted him to push. But his preferred guitar was a Epiphone SG, which they just called uh, Les Paul. You get it now? It's true. It's actually true. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said it. Right? Right. Hit subscribe. You're doing good. We're almost there. <laughs> Hit like, a comment, say anything. Come on. Don't just sit there and watch the video. Say, nice guitar. I like the color. You're an idiot. What's up with the hat? Is there a rat living under your hat? Do you put on deodorant? If you do, what kind of anything? Just comment. Please. And keep watching, all right? Cool. All right. We're done. We're out. We're good. What is today? I haven't made a video in a long time. It is the 12th. I was going to go to Vegas, but I've been sick, and I got up today, and I feel really good. I mean, comparatively, I've been sick for, since January 3rd, and then I got better for a week, and then I've been sick ever since. So today I feel pretty good, so I think maybe it's it's moving on finally. I don't know. But there you go. Cool. We're done. Later. Epiphone's rule over Gibson. And yes, I know Gibson Epiphone is owned by Gibson. Don't be stupid. Don't be so stupid. All right, see you later.